What's up y'all, Scotty Ledoux from The Fortress of Nerditude. Today we are flashing the Revolt ROM 4.3 to our Epic 4G Touch. Big shout out to Hayes the Beast out in Kansas City, Missouri, XDA senior member for developing this ROM. And as usual, our first step is going to be to reboot into recovery. And once you get into recovery, we're going to do our wipe methodically this time per the instructions in the XDA thread we're gonna separately and individually wipe the cache partition the data and the Dalvik cache uh, each separately so first step we're gonna go ahead and wipe the data and do a factory reset here <clears throat> Okay, and then I'm going to go down to wipe cache partition. Knock that out right quick. And then go to advanced and you'll see the wipe Dalvik cache option. Okay, and once that's done, you can go back to the main menu go to install zip and wherever you've saved your ROM file and your gapps file I always save mine on my internal uh, storage in the downloads folder so I'm gonna go there and look for the revolt JBD 710 file and flash that While we're waiting on that to, to complete, um, just a little bit of information about the Revolt ROM for those of you not familiar. Um, I've done videos on it in the past. This one is an updated version uh, with 4.3 Android, and it's based on uh, uh, signage in my 10.2, but it's got a combination similar to Dirty Unicorns. It's got a, a combination of Paranoid Android, AOKP, uh, CM, and a bunch of different uh, you know developments and uh, the end result is that you've got a lot of customization and, and custom features that you can play around with as far as your interface is concerned you got hybrid controls you have got halo you have got pie uh, pie control so um, we'll take a look at that once we get done flashing All right, now that that's complete, I'm going to actually go back and do another wipe of the cache partition. So take a step back to the main menu, go down to wipe cache partition. And then we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache again also before we flash our G apps file. All right, now we can go back to the install zip and downloads folder. Uh, we're going to be looking for a file dated, I believe, August 13th, 2013, which is a 4.3 Jelly Bean G apps file. Okay, there it is. All right, and now we just need to go back and reboot the system, and we should be in business.
for the record this is a nightly release this is not the most recent stable release the most recent stable release is back in july of 2013 and that was based on 4.2 uh, just so you know this is a nightly release so there could be some instability although it seems to be working fairly well for me so far i don't have my epic 4g touch activated so i can't test data but as far as the information in the thread data should be working on this ROM. okay so here we are at the home screen and as you can see uh, once you get to the home screen you have an about team revolt screen that pops up give you a little background information on the devices that are supported by uh, the revolt ROM team and a little bit of information that gives you the the change log there and uh, actually gives you contact information uh, for the website or the team of, of developers that created this ROM <clears throat> so if we get out of that we'll see that you've got the typical jelly bean stuff here um, got apps and widgets both in the app drawer together uh, I noticed that focal is in there the focal camera app so that's cool we've got a, a font uh, shoot picker in the app drawer that's a little different um, Goo manager is automatically installed for you there it looks like my home button isn't working um, so I don't know if that's a de defect or if that's by design I'm not sure so I have to use the back button to get back to my home screen here it looks like so anyway let's look at the customizations uh, options here and first we'll look at the general user interface tab You've got transparency settings you can create a bust and uh, excuse me, a, a, a custom boot animation. You can change the accelerometer settings. You can turn off the CRT effect, the little TV effect for when you turn the uh, power off on your device. Uh, what else here? Got the halo options. Looks like you can change colors and the size of the halo and stuff like that. Got a bunch of lock screen uh, options. So really fully featured uh, ROM here. The power menu, typical stuff. Um, gives you the ability to choose what you want when you power down. Uh, what options you want to have available in that uh, on that screen. Active display. I don't even know what that is to be perfectly honest with you. I have to read up on that. So navigation bar, obviously you've got capacitive buttons already, but if you want to have an additional navigation bar down on the bottom of your screen, um, you can do that. I don't personally like to do that. It takes up more screen real estate and the Epic 4G is already not that big of a phone. Um, navigation ring, you can um, choose what you want uh, to have as far as quick launch options on your navigation ring there and of course ribbons for your pull down menu you can uh, design all of those uh, menus here on this screen choose which buttons you want to be available <clears throat> gesture anywhere is another feature that I am not sure what that is I have to uh, look into that I have to read the uh, thread which I'll leave a link to in the description of the video. I apologize. I don't know what that is Got Pi controls got toggle set up. This is where you actually set up the tiles in your pull down menu And the last three are uh, status bar customizations, the battery, logo, uh, and color and size, and the clock and the date. Um, so pretty uh, standard stuff as far as that's concerned. Okay, so back to the main menu. Dark Revolt here just basically 
uh, black blacks everything out um, if you prefer that look over the uh, slightly lighter uh, charcoal colored background um, you've got automatic updates here which is basically Goo Manager it launches Goo Manager for you and uh, gives you the ability to check for updates on the ROM and you know you can install custom recoveries things of that nature um, those of you who use Goo Manager are probably already familiar so here you've got your paranoid Android settings, uh, tablets, phablet, phone, UI, hybrid settings. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So to all my Epic 4G Touch owners, uh, I know there hasn't been much, but we're going to be on the lookout for developments in that area so we can make more videos for you guys. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Like I said, thanks so much, guys, for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.